we don't want in our worksheet. I'm just going to test. In this construction, I'm going to show you how to use the slider tool to dynamically create polygons of different number of sides that are both regular and inscribed within a circle. And then we're going to use this construction to find an approximation for the value of pi. So we begin by clicking on the slider tool, inserting it into our worksheet. I will label it n for number of sides. I have to start at 3 as the minimum number of sides for a polygon. I will have it go up to 100 and count by 1s. When I hit apply, this slider tool is now inserted into my worksheet. It is good practice to immediately click on your arrow tool so that we don't start constructing uh, objects we don't want in our worksheet. I'm just going to test that the slider tool counts by ones and now I'm going to construct a circle. We have different options for the types of constructions we want to do. I will use the circle with center through a point. My first click will be the location of the circle center. My second click will be a point on the circle. And what I'm going to do here is rotate this point on the circle around its center to the appropriate location based on the number of sides in the polygon. So effectively, I'm using the central angle of a regular polygon. I will take 360 degrees, divide it by the number of sides, and that will determine the location of the next point in the regular polygon. So I come up to my toolbar, I see reflection here, that's not the transformation I want. So I'll look at what other transformations are here, rotate around a point, perfect. Select the point you want to rotate, then select the center point that you want to rotate about. By default, GeoGebra, GeoGebra puts 45 degrees in there, I'm going to change that to 360 divided by n, counterclockwise, click OK, and back to my arrow tool. That looks like a 120 degree arc, so I'm ready to continue. Next, we would like to use these two points to construct a regular polygon. So I'm going to come up to the polygon tool, hit the down arrow, and select regular polygon. I'm going to click on these two points in a counterclockwise pattern. First point, second point, the uh, regular polygon bar comes up asking for the number of vertices. I'm going to change that to say N because I want my toolbar to control the number of vertices. We click OK and we have an inscribed regular triangle in the circle. We can drag our toolbar and see that the vertices are all generated on the circle. We have our regular polygons and now we're going to use this regular polygon to give us an estimation for pi. Since pi is defined as the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, we can take the ratio of a regular polygon's perimeter to the circle's diameter.